Hello, I am Zinder, and this is episode 2 of my Let's Play. Picking up where I left off at the end of episode 1 after being freshly blown up by a creeper while making a pickaxe. Well, now I have to hope that I can get to my stuff before it disappears. Although I have no guarantee that I even know which direction it is. I do know it was in an area filled with pine trees. That's the uh, dark colored trees. Apparently there's some floating leaves left over from the tree I destroyed earlier. Isn't that just genius? Um, okay, I'm starting to see the mountains come up in the distance. Um, in future episodes, I'm probably going to have a slightly different texture pack. It's going to look the same, but different, and I'm being pursued by a creeper already. Um, hopefully I can avoid getting blown up by him. Get off. Oh, there's a skeleton pew pew and arrows at me. And there's an enderman. I have to make a goal not to look at him. Those guys are pretty ridiculous at times, at least in the beginning of the game when you don't have an adequate means to kill them pretty quickly. But I have to hope I can find that cave that I was in. All I know is I saw a torch up in the mountains, so that's always a good start. Um, I think I see some lighting in the distance. That just might be what I'm looking for. Real nice if it is, because it is dark and I need to get to somewhere where I can at least make some protection, even... Hopefully, at best, it's safe in there, but there's no guarantees on that. Oh! I think I just got skeletoned into the... Oh, no, that's a spider. Go away, spider. Go away. I don't like you. Punch the spider to death, because that's highly effective. And some fall damage. But my food bar is full, so I should be fine. And... Oh! Oh! Here's my stuff. Most of it. The iron's still sitting there. Looks like my workbench was destroyed. Got torches, which means I should probably light this up to try to avoid what happened at the end of the last episode. Because I really don't feel like trying to find this again. More iron. And a big open hallway. I also hear a zombie, so I'm going to get a sword going before I even make a pickaxe. Because I really, really, really don't feel like dying again. And I'm sure you guys find it hilarious, though, to see people die in Minecraft. Especially with the way it happened in that last episode. Even I thought that was funny. Okay, got my sword going. I'm going to need some wood soon, but I'm going to grab iron while I can. Thankfully I have some coal, so I'll be able to smelt it too. Be able to get an iron sword going, even though I haven't even used the stone one yet. That's always a good step up, and stone isn't exactly reliable, in both in terms of durability and its damage, so. I really, really try to get out of stone as quickly as possible, at least with the sword. Oh, creeper. Again. Why did I know that was coming? Well, looks like I get to make the run again. This time the mountains are at least loaded in the distance, so I know where I'm going. And then the sun's coming up, so I'm not going to be barraged by an endless wave of monsters on the way there. Except for creepers. Stupid creepers and staying out in the sunlight. I really shouldn't be sprinting. I'm going to stop that. One of the first things I need to do is definitely get some source of food going other than dying and respawning with a full food bar. Because while that's effective, it's not very efficient and... The run is rather annoying and kind of takes up a lot of time. Especially considering I am the whole way over here. I need to kill some sheep, make a bed. That way I can spawn in the cave and not have to worry about it. Well, to find it. It's a lot easier to find stuff in the dark. 
At least I think so, because your torches keep it lit up on the outside and make it really stand out. But since I recently already made this run for the exact same reason as the last time, I know pretty much exactly where it's at. And I'm probably still going to practically fall in this hole. That is oddly uniform almost. Enderman just teleported. I guess he was not happy about the sunlight. I saw some coal back there. I'm going to go get that. Where am I going? Going the wrong way. Going up here to get creepered some more. I'm sure it's probably really dark in here, and if it it comes out looking way too dark on YouTube, I'll probably start bumping up the uh, the brightness a little bit, at least in the dark caves if I can. I don't really actually have any editing software, mostly just conversion software with some appliable filters, but. We'll see what happens. I'm going to get my inventory organized here. Because I have stuff everywhere. But I am apparently up to 7 iron already. And sugar cane of an unknown origin. Okay. Don't know where it came from, but I will take it. I think I'm going to get an axe going so that way I can go out and get some wood. Because we really can't keep going without some wood to supply us with sticks for torches and everything else I'm going to undeniably need it for. But I'm going to need to do something about this entrance because uh, yeah, it's not exactly climbable in its current state, is it? But that will be fixed. And I just axed the dirt. I'm a pro. What a complete waste of axe durability. What an axe hole. really need to make sure I replant these trees, otherwise I'm gonna end up at a lack of wood at some point in the future, and that's gonna be annoying. Interesting place for obsidian to be showing. Apparently there was a huh, yeah, surface lava. That's some nifty lighting. And useful to have a nearby source of lava. Be extremely useful. Especially as a makeshift defense this is probably the worst way to climb up this. I should really put the dirt on my bar. That way I'm not wasting my axe digging up wood that I just did. Digging. Chopping. Big difference. Sort of. Not really. They both just involve pressing left click and holding it. But that's not the point here. Or is it? I guess that's a debate that's best left up for uh, people that comment on it. Now, if only I can remember what I just said. There's going to be a lot of that. And sometimes while I'm in the middle of saying things. So hopefully it's interesting. Sometimes it's probably just going to be annoying. And it's probably going to lead me to repeating myself. I'll try not to. Hopefully by saying it at least... Whoa, six in partly. You figure out where that goes. I think that's down near where I just got that iron, maybe. It's definitely darkness. Definitely stone. Definitely coal. At least in front of me. I don't know about down there. Let's go figure it out. Oh. 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 Oh, come on. I am not having good luck in this cave. Oh. oh. Um. I was not expecting to find one of those so soon. And no, I'm not talking about the Enderman. I'm talking about the Spider Spawner. I have infinite wool. I'm going to trap this. And that's going to be awesome. should probably uh, light this up so I don't get spidered. And... I do want to check that chest. So I'm probably just going to take the chest because I haven't made one yet. But I want to see if there's another one on the other side of this. Because, yeah. But, I don't know, some people don't feel that 
Actually, I just thought of something while in the middle of that statement. I was going to say about some people may not seem wool too useful. I personally like to use lime green wool for my flooring. Oh, hey, there is a second chest. But, uh, I actually didn't know this. You can eat spider eyes as a source of food, but they will poison you when you do it. And this essentially means that I have an infinite source of food... And if I'm really that worried about the poison, I can just go milk a cow. Because, in case you didn't know, milk removes poison. I think. I've heard it does. I've actually never tested it myself. I should do that, using a spider eye. But, uh, I, I'm i actually going to show the process of building this spider trap. Some people use lava. I personally find lava to be unreliable, at least on spiders. And apparently I do not need to make buckets. Holy crap. Wow, that is a lot of buckets. And now I have two chests. So that'll be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to turn this into a drowning trap. Mostly because of the fact that while it is slower to kill them, it guarantees that I'm not going to lose any drops to the lava. And with spiders, for some reason, I have a serious issue of constantly losing drops to lava. Mostly because of the fact that they are only one high, so they go in the lava and they're in it. So the item spawns and then gets burned up instantly. And I'm sure there's more effective ways to kill them than drowning. I mean, I could probably try making a trap using cactus, but I personally find that drowning traps are the easiest, because you don't need lava. Creeper. I heard him exploding. Move forwards. Save my life, probably. These things are being relentless. I've never had so many creepers try to kill me in the beginning of the game. Skeleton chilling back there. Zombie flesh. Cheap, crappy food, but it's something when you're dying. Like, right now. Might as well eat it. No point wasting bread. I guess it wouldn't really be a waste, but when you have food, even if it's just crap food, use the worst food first, personally. It clears it out of your inventory quicker. Better in empty inventory is a happy inventory. Unless it's full of iron. Then a full inventory is a happy inventory. Or diamond, but... I've never even at one given time owned enough diamonds to make diamond armor, but that's mostly partly because I don't make diamond armor, or armor most of the time in general, and partly because of the fact that once I get enough diamonds for a sword and a pick, I normally don't really keep looking for them. But I'm not entirely sure how long this video is. Um... I do have the videos up on my second screen, and I think this is probably about 15 minutes. So I'm going to just dig myself into a hole and say goodbye for this episode. This is Zinder, and this is my Let's Play, and this is the end of episode 2. I'll see you in the next one.